OpenFluent by Double Clicking Solution. Know that we got some warning messages regarding the interface zones. In my case, all the mesh interfaces are, were deleted. So let's recreate them. Highlight mesh interface and click create edit. Remember from part one of the tutorial and do this for all faces, all the interfaces. Okay, now that we recreated all the interfaces, let's get back to our project. We can close this window. Let's check that all the boundary conditions were correctly imported from the previous part of the tutorial. So, we should have a velocity inlet here. So click Edit, 10 meters per second in the X direction, intensity and length scale, numbers are correct. Our field 2, it's pressure 0, same here, that's okay. All the walls should be set to wall, and that's pretty much it. Since now we are on a transient problem, we need to change our, your, our solver to transient. So go under general. Change steady and change time from steady to transient. Next, let's next let's update the cell zones. Here's where we're gonna tell Fluent that our our mesh is moving. So highlight cell zone conditions, and for inner, click at it. Remember that we checked this option here, frame motion. Well, now we're going to copy this to Mesh Motion. So click Copy to Mesh Motion and check that everything has been transferred. Correct speed, correct axis, absolute, yeah, okay. Now let's do this for each of the blades. Bottom blade, copy to Mesh Motion, yeah, the origin. We're copied, it's copied, okay, okay, right. Note that for all blades, the motion is relative to inner. That means that the, the axis of that zone will, will translate following the motion of the hub. The hub is called inner here. You can close this window. Click OK.